Welcome back to White Mountains Today here on White Mountains TV 16, North Conway. And taking a look at the, uh, the, the ski cam photo some white there at there. Wildcat Mountain, seeing some white up there at the top. So that means, you know, that just makes us think about skiing. Another thing that makes us think about skiing is, of course, right here in the studio, we have Doug Tulin and Thomas Brindle from Wildcat and Aditash, or Aditash and Wildcat, respectively, if we go in that direction. <laughs> and, uh, of course, lots of big doings going on with Aditash and Wildcat, so we're going to talk about that today and talk about uh, the ski season. It's hard to believe that we are already at that time of year where we're, we're coming thinking up, about skiing. It? I mean, tomorrow's November 1st. Absolutely, And yeah. uh, we in the Mount Washington Valley know Boing. Yeah. That is now ski season, and we'll just get the ski areas open as quick as possible. So Absolutely. let's start off with the big news, and the big news, of course, is the joining of Wildcat and Anatech. Doug, let's talk about that. I mean, we think it's a fantastic thing. I mean, it, it changes the face of skiing and riding in this region by putting the two big mountains together and the value that goes with it. I mean, you, you couldn't have a better package if you tried. Well, that's great. And of course, uh, you know, Aditash, for the last few years especially, has been known about the money that they've put into the advanced snowmaking and grooming and all the uh, amenities that they have there. And of course, Wildcat has always been known for its extended season, its uh, more extreme skiing, I guess you could put it. Mm -hmm. uh, so really, you're getting the combination of the two. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think Peak Resorts uh, saw a, a winning combination between the two resorts. Uh, you know, one of the two larger resorts in New Hampshire, and the proximity of the two resorts uh, between each other is just a, sort of a win-win situation uh, altogether for Peak Resorts and for our customers and our season pass holders and, and persons visiting the Mount Washington Valley. Uh, now they can have a season pass or lift ticket product or even a gift card product that can be used at two resorts that are very close to each other. So. And so, uh, and especially as we, uh, you know, as we are in these uh, these times, you know, having the best value is is uh, is so important and being able to combine the two um, being the elements of the two and one of the things we were talking about a little yep. bit before is that obviously the seasons passes are good at either mountain so that even means skiing the same mountain or two different mountains in the same day yeah which is kind of a you know a fun thing to do <laughs> I, I guarantee you're gonna have a bunch of people who are gonna say oh, we're gonna ski the you know, ski the morning here and the afternoon there and just kind of, you know, stop for lunch in the middle or whatever. Yeah, I mean, I think we, time. you know, even just looking as, as recently as last season, I mean, there, there are definitely days where either resort is the better choice for that day. You know, uh, Wildcat Mountain with its proximity to Mount Washington and Tuckerman Ravine, we do have our challenges sometimes with weather and wind. And now you'll have that option to just shoot down into the valley and, and hit up Aditash and vice versa. I mean, we saw some days where Aditash might be having some uh, rain or, or sleet event where we would be getting snow. So again, it's just that, that opportunity uh, and just the huge amount of value, vertical and variety that's, that, that's now obtainable, uh, obtainable between the season passes. And that's so, a lot of fun. Yeah. And uh, Doug, you were saying that uh, right off the bat, there's uh, new equipment that's going right up to Wildcat. Yeah, I mean, the plan is to work on uh, developing the snowmaking systems and uh, seeing what we can do about improving that and uh, putting a new groomer on the hill and uh, you know, doing everything we can to just improve the quality of the product and help Wildcat as much as possible. And, you know, again, it's, it, it's a great combination. They've got, you know, significant natural snowfall, maybe one of the more amazing views you'll ever mm -hmm. get in a ski day anywhere, and that includes even the Rockies. I mean, it's just an unbelievable view. And then you start putting more support systems in there, combining the two and offering it all to everybody as, as a joint package. It just, you know, like I said before, it really can't get any better than that. Oh, that's great. Now, can you see the summits of each mountain from each other? Because you can see we Wildcat from Atatash, right? Can you see Atatash from Wildcat? I don't think, I don't think I've ever I looked. Know, I don't know. It's more like a, <laughs> well, now you have to. you got to put like a beacon up there. Yeah. Like that. You know, you can send Morse code back and forth. Yeah, and exactly. Now, one of the things coming up, of course, uh, not this weekend, the following weekend, the... Uh, Boston Globe, uh, Boston Globe Ski and Ski Snowboard, and Expo. Snowboard yeah. Expo. You couldn't have said it better than yeah. that. Yeah, well, yeah, we're looking forward to it already. I mean, the, the, you know, the ski show is always a big event for, uh, kind of kicks off the season. And uh, this year we'll be uh, working closely with that, Atasha. So we're, we're excited. <laughs> no, more, no more competition. We've got our booths all together working as a team. Um, you know, and, and on the Atasha side of things, we're, we're going to do what we really did last year in terms of Having a lot of nice stuff to give away, some sponsors involved, giveaways every few hours. We will have an amazing uh, gift card deal that's available that we'll be announcing shortly. Um, you know, it really does kick off the season. I mean, not just for us, but for this whole region. Yeah. Because as a, a tourism region, 
you know, our significant number one site for drawing visitors from is the Boston area. And this gives us a chance to really interact with them hands-on for four straight days. Um, we see a lot of season pass holders that we've come to know over the years. And it's, uh, it's, it's something we look forward to every year. Well, it's, a, you know, it's the start of the ski season. People start thinking Absolutely. about it. They go there to the, uh, to the Expo Center yeah. and uh, you know, just start getting excited. And uh, especially with news like this being announced right there, uh, and I'm sure there'll probably be some people who will be, be like, really? Yeah, you know, They yeah, didn't hear about it, so yeah. it's just going to be a great surprise for them uh, and always a, a fun time. So that's yeah. happening. Yeah, and the, that begins uh, Thursday, November 11th. Um, they're actually extending the hours on that day because it's uh, Veterans Day, I believe. Right. So it starts at noon on Thursday. Is and that it's, right? it's in a new location. In the past, yeah, the it's been at the, uh, Thank gosh. In the yeah. past, it had been the Bayside Convention Center, and I... So where I understand they leveled it. at the Seaport uh, Convention Center. Yeah. Beautiful, brand new. Is that right in Boston? Next, is it? Yeah. Yeah, I think Seaport they call it the Seaport World Trade Center is its official name. Big hotel complex, convention center, all the amenities. Did much not know more, that. Yeah. Much more Did modern that. facility. Oh, that's great. So that'll be a lot of fun. Yeah, so have. that starts November 11th. But I think the more important date right now that we want to you know, let people know about is November 9th is the deadline for persons to take advantage of this new uh, joint combination pass. Mm -hmm. um, Aditage has extended their mid-rate pricing on all of their passes, which now include Wildcat Mountain. So uh, if persons have not bought a season pass yet, then they definitely want to consider uh, the value now associated with this combination pass that, right. that Aditash Absolutely. and Peak Resorts has with their Nor'easter pass, their Granite pass. Um, so definitely persons should head to adattach.com and look at the pricing that they have now. And again, the deadline is November 9th to take advantage of the mid rates. And so that's just after next weekend. So yeah, and I went, on, I went online and the, the thing too is the variety of pass options. So it's not yeah. just one pass, you have a variety of pass options. Um, so it's great for, you know, yeah. so if you're out there as the consumer, you're gonna find something you want uh, with a combo pass for with you guys. So. Yeah, and it, you know, and Peak Resorts is, uh, I think we're the 12th resort that Peak Resorts now owns, and so some of the combination passes that you'll see at outattach.com include, you know, uh, the ability to ski a crotchet mountain in New Hampshire, or even the Nor'easter Pass includes Mount Snow and uh, Jack Frost and Big Boulder in, in Pennsylvania. But yeah. like you said, there are these combinations uh, of passes available to not just locals but to uh, people in New England. It's, it's just a, it's, it's, it's huge value. So. And, and on top of that, you know, you look at the lift ticket pricing structure. Um, Adatash went out of its way to hold the line on pricing. I think lift tickets went up a dollar, and that's it. Group pricing for groups that come and visit us, it's staying the same as it has for the last three years. So, I mean, there's been a real conscious effort to look at the economy and say, you know, we're really trying to deliver more to you and find a way not to charge you more. And we think we've accomplished that by holding the line on prices. And, you know, you can get a lift ticket, say you buy your lift ticket at Wildcat, and a wind does come up. It starts out as a calm day, then it's the weather changes on you, jump right down in your car, next thing you know you're at Adatash, boom, and you're still skiing for the same dollar. And where else are you going to get that value yeah. where they're that physically close to each other? Yeah, that's and, great. Um, yeah, I think there's some interesting stats. One ticket, I mean, now we have 127 trails, 15 lifts, uh, well over 500 acres of skiing and riding. So it, and it's, it's, it's pretty that's cool. That's great. Yeah. Well, there's, uh, well, there's so much more to talk about, but, yeah. of, course <laughs> but of course we're out of time. Yeah. So uh, go to adattach.com. Yep. Uh, that's the spot to, uh, to jump off from. You can find out all the information about the great things going on at Wildcat and Adattach. And, of course, go down the Boston Ski and Travel Show. That's always a fun thing to do, too. And uh, I'm sure we're going to see the two of you many times this winter. Yeah, maybe not always sitting, together, but sitting yeah. on the comfy couch. We'll, yeah. we'll take turns. Yeah, we'll start to talk. Otherwise, people will start to talk. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll be back here in a minute on White Mountains today.